time you low, Countess Vine don't ever help you. Countess Vine only call you when she want to use you to be the ghetto best friend, the ghetto gay trans monkey. Countess don't really fuck with you. You a pawn, bitch. Countess fuck with Brandy and them. She like bitches in the industry. She don't like you. You're a hood rat puppy. You know what I'm saying? So chill out. Stop thinking you this bitch in the industry, girl. Oh, before you bitches was in the reality shows, I was on a reality show. Bitch, you was on like five episodes of Hollywood Divas. And you're not in Hollywood and you're not a diva. You're a Hollywood crackhead. You know what I'm saying? So you wasn't even on the right show. You was on there as a fill-in and as a best friend. You was hungry for a meal. That's when you was broke. You know what I'm saying? You was a bum straight off the streets. And you know what I'm saying? You needed to feed yourself and feed your habit of slanging coke and dope. So you had to do what you had to do and be Countess as Vaughn's gay best friend on that show. You wasn't even a cast member and you didn't even get paid. Word on the street, you got paid $100 an episode. That's embarrassing. $100 an episode don't go nowhere in LA. That's, bitch, $100 ain't shit up there. Bitch, I went up to LA for the first time last year for my birthday, and I'm like, damn, shit be so expensive for no reason, but you gotta think about the cost of living. So, you know what I'm saying? So, Savannah, you can't afford nothing. You're losing in life, bitch. You barely, you don't even hit a quota nowadays. You make $1,000 off a of Beagle. That's, that's embarrassing. So, shut the fuck up when you talking to me, bitch. Put respect on my name, ho. Because you mad because I took the formula and I'm formulating and I'm doing what needs to be done, ho. Still in my run, ho. Ain't fell off. Still hitting my quotas. Still doing what I need to do. And that's why you upset. That's why you mad. That's why you miserable. What's your content? You bitches want to talk about what's my content. Well, my content is actually better than yours because I get four times your views. Ten times your quota, ho. So what's really, what do you have to say about my platform? What do you have to say about my platform when you're a trailblazing crackhead that's been on this app longer than me and you should have surpassed me and you should have been doing better than me? So that's what I'm trying to understand. And I'm not even on no cocky shit. I'm on some respondent. So bitch, you keep saying I don't have nothing. I'm nothing. But bitch, you, you're the example of nothing. Rezo TV, your viewership was nothing. Your check to Rezo TV was nothing. Your living situation is nothing. Your face is nothing. Your love life is nothing. Your content is nothing. Your drug habit is something. That's the only thing that's, that's, that's adding up to the reason why you broke. And you in the same position that you always been in, bitch. New Year, same you. Bitch, every new year, I always got something new that I'm changing. Because I want to elevate, ho. I don't want to be in the same position. Mental illness is real, ho. And you the prime example of it, bitch. You're ugly, you're mad, and you're upset because I'm winning. And I'm just saying, I'm being honest. What are you doing in life? Other than sucking dick and arguing with your fake-ass lover, Molly. But Molly is a bottom. Molly's a self-proclaimed bottom. He done been all over the internet on his knees and taking dick. And you the main nigga that say you don't, you don't fuck bottoms. You the main nigga that say you don't fuck bottoms, Brian. Oops, I meant Samantha. So what I'm trying to understand is you don't fuck bottoms, nigga, then why you fucking the bottom now? Fucking the bottom now. Like, can y'all hear me? Hello? Y'all, can we get a crown? Can we get a trophy? Hold on, let me calm down. Let me calm down. The next topic is I'm about to spill the tea on Ivy. Let's get a trophy, y'all. Let me calm down. So I'm about to spill this tea on Ivy and tell the story because I got clips earlier. So I'm not mad at Ivy, but now, now Ivy is on my shit list. Now I can read Ivy. Now I can spill tea on Ivy. Now I can treat Ivy the way... Like anybody else can get it. You know what I'm saying? Because Ivy tried to play on my time. And y'all know I've been I've been humble and I've been trying to be calm with Ivy and I've been trying to be understanding. You know what I'm saying? So y'all share this live. We need 10 crowns. We need 99 maces. Let's go, y'all, because I'm guaranteed to probably get clipped. Once I get on Ivy. 
So I kind of came on to get a, a little bag. Y'all saw that Ivy interview when she said she did PCP. Yes, I'm about to explain that. Ivy admitted to me in real life that she has a PCP problem, but I'm about to tell y'all the gag because she had me to go get her some drugs. But I'm going to explain all of that, y'all. 99 Maces, we need a trophy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We need like 10 crowns, all of that. Yeah, I've been nice. Y'all, admit, haven't I been nice with Ivy? Type one, haven't I trying to be, y'all been wanting me. I, I ain't going to say y'all been wanting me to go off on Ivy, but y'all been calling Ivy out for the longest. Y'all been the main ones telling me that Ivy was fake. So let's be real. Y'all know I've been trying to be nice. Y'all know I've been nice, bro. Like, don't play. Like, let's be real. Oh. I was not shading Ivy. Hello? I knew she was being fake as fuck. Oh, she said Ivy being fake. Yeah, and y'all was telling me that Ivy was fake. So now I got to really, really talk about it. And the sad thing is, I really tried to pay it. Thank you, beauty. Once we get closer to this second box or y'all pop open this second box, I'm about to talk my shit. And the reason why I'm just like, bitch, I'm not finna get clipped. Bitch, y'all know I like my bag first. So um, keep making this shake real quick, y'all. And then we about to get into it. So let me light up real quick. So no, we got some things to really talk about because she was really fake. And then the thing is, red, red. You remember, you remember how she was like, man, she was really doing all that crazy shit. She was doing all that crazy shit behind everybody back in Atlanta. She was doing that weird shit. And then she had a lot. She was upset at the fact that China, um, China Red and China 504 was having a lot of insiders. She felt like they was talking about her. It's a lot of shit I'm about to get into. I'm about to just go ahead and tell y'all everything at this point. Like, I'm sick of, like, holding this in. She tried to play in my face, and it's just like, that ain't fair. And I ain't told y'all none of this shit. So this is really new tea for y'all. I'm about to tell everything, the conversation that I had with her during the last ATL link up, how she was scared. Thank you, more. She was scared to address everybody, and she came to me and confided in me. And y'all know I'm not lying because she was at my apartment. She was at my apartment. Y'all know I don't fuck with nobody, bitch. That was my old apartment. Y'all don't remember? Y'all don't remember the last day she was at my apartment? I don't let people just come to my place. Yes, Ivy. My old apartment in Sandy Springs. Yeah, she was snoring and shit. Okay, so yeah, I'm not lying. We had a whole conversation. It was the reason why she came to my house. <clears throat> I'm about to explain all of that. This this bitch wanna play on somebody top. Thank you, boo. First time, y'all, we need 35 more crowns, y'all. Let's go. And then bitches want to come for me, bitch. Like I said, I don't care about the house, the reeds on my house. Lesson learned. I'm not showing bitches anything no more. You know what I'm saying? These hoes be weird. Unless I'm traveling. And she didn't take no shower. Yeah, Ivy didn't take no shower. Ivy nasty. She had the same makeup on for four days. Ivy gross. Ivy smelled like ass. Like, when I was in a car, I was like, what the fuck is that smell? I'm sniffing like, god damn. So I really think they was confusing. They were saying, I stink, bitch. It was Ivy that stink. No shade, bitch. And then you notice they said I didn't stink. They said that after I fell out with them. Girls was just trying to throw that rumor on me. Y'all know damn well I look too good to stink, bitch. Girl, no shade. Every time I go out, I always take a shower and... On. You know it's not you And you dripped out in Chanel Cologne Bitch you know you good Girl these hoes was playing on my top Because China Red and them all said I smell good Like I feel like people Was just saying that as like a dig As a quick read And it's okay I'm not upset about it Bitch if that's the best thing y'all got Then okay Like ooh I'm about to go cry Cause y'all said I stink Like what I was like, that's the best thing they got. But y'all got to believe. Y'all got to have common sense. I'm Charlie with the T. Why would I pop out when I don't pop out? Why would I pop out and stink? Like, what? That don't even make sense. I don't even link up with these big old bitches. So you know I'm going to come. You know what I'm saying? Smelling good.
bitch. Like, I can't stand that. Like, why do people want to call me when I motherfucking lie? Shit. I knew they was lying for that reason. You wasn't about to go around. I don't know. Right? That don't make no sense. Especially the messy bitches. We all in a room and we all messy. But it's a lesson learned, y'all. I would never hang out with those people. And I really think they want me to make up with them. Y'all know how, like, Keisha would go live and be like, tell Charlie to lie me. Tell Charlie to lie me. He used to people doing that. Once we, we was all cool. I don't fuck with none of them. I'm not going to lie you. We don't have nothing to talk about. You talk about me, I hear about it. I can respond on my own platform. You feel me? What's the, we don't have nothing to talk about. You all, like we like three generations apart. We three decades apart, bro. Leave me alone. You leave me alone. Like you say what you say. I say what I say. Bitch, we all, we don't need to lie. I don't fuck with none of y'all. Like, y'all say it don't went too far. You know what I'm saying? I would never be cool with Keisha. I would never be cool with China Red. It's just certain people I would never be cool with again. I would never be cool with Ebony. I would never be cool with Brandon. You see what I'm saying, y'all? And that's fair. It ain't like I'm one of those hosts that fell out with Keisha and fell out with China Red and became cool with Ebony and Brandon. That would be fake. At least I didn't do the typical... I'm breaking that cycle. Everybody on Big O don't move the same. I move the way that I want to move. You feel me? Y'all see what I'm saying? You cool with Pumpkin? Yeah, Pumpkin never came from my bag. You but you mad that I'm back cool with Pumpkin or something? Me and Pumpkin been back cool. What are you implying, mamas? I just want to know what you implying by that question. Y'all, we need 20 um, crowns. 20 crowns, y'all. Can we get 99 maces? I'm almost close to my goal. So, yeah, I don't I don't understand why. Huh? Oh, you didn't know. I don't understand why old girl asked me a question. Like, are you implying it in a bad way? Are you implying it in a bad way? You getting dried out hard to get to your second box. Oh, okay. So, eventually, hopefully, you and Savannah can get back cool. Mmm, no, never. Damn, I wanted to hear Katie go on. No, stop. Oh, my gosh. 